Wednesday. I am so excited to be here with you guys today on this amazing, amazing day to kick off. Y'all, there's only a few days until Memorial Day. Memorial Day, if you guys have lived under a rock, is literally the start of summer. So I'm so excited that we're here together today to be able to create such a fun DIY project together. We're making a front porch sign. We're trying to stay under $5, but I mean, Rachel, this piece of wood is literally priceless right now. Oh, I know. It was so funny when we were making these titles, guys. This was a while ago, Tanner, This was months ago. And we didn't know how things were going to go, but yeah. you guys can get creative, make these as expensive or as yeah. cheap as you want. We're going to try to give you guys our affordable hacks. This is a great, great, great project for you guys to create today. It's going to be so much fun. Um, we're going to teach you how to really work in Cricut Design Space to um, resize and get everything ready for today's project. So I'm so excited. As you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Uh, Rachel's monitoring the comments for me, so feel free to drop any questions you have down in the comments below. We have still not made a video regarding the new Cricut announcement, so if you have any questions on that, let us know, and we will be getting ready to release a video to be honest my friends I would have made a video Saturday at the announcement but I spent all day writing my speech for a graduation ceremony of high schoolers so it was so much fun um, and then we we went Saturday night so I've been also moving um, into our new lake house so it's been a, a little bit here you've and been, there. You've so been it's, a busy bee, Tanner. It's fun. But yes, we've been super busy. But today, my friends, I am so excited to share with you guys how to make this project. This is an amazing front door sign. These um, stand up right there on the front door, and they're amazing. So with uh, regular vinyl, you don't have to seal them. I know we're going to get some questions about that, so I wanted to address it. Especially if it's on a covered porch and it's yeah. not, you know, just laying out in the rain. Exactly. It's going to last a good long time. This one's fantastic. And if you have been on the fence to get our year membership, my friends, today is your day. You want to click the link down below, the link in the comments. You want to go to makersgonnalearn.com slash memorial day sale and get your $30 off our year membership. This is a flash sale. So this is only like here for like five or six days, very short time period for our friends that want to get crafty this summer. You may have just got off school, taken a little break, or you're like, Tanner, my life's crazy. I need to dedicate some time to stay crafty. Grab our membership today using that coupon code FLASH30 and start. You are going to love it. Thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, for up to 10 courses completely free. If you're a beginner too, like this is oh. definitely for you as well. We yes. have awesome beginner training. Ooh, I love this. Yes. Yeah, we love the Master Your Cricut 30 Day Challenge. It is so much fun. Um, we also give you guys your printable guides to where you can reference all kinds of things. I know a big question is, is Tanner, are you getting the new machine? Are you going to have an education on it? And guys, of course, it's a new machine. We want to keep you guys in the loop with all things Cricut related. So of course, we are super excited for some of the innovation they've had and we cannot wait. So yay, Megan says, y'all jump off that fence, run through the pasture and grab the year membership. Woohoo! I love it. It is going to be so much fun. So if you guys have any questions, let us know, but let's go ahead and go over some of our supplies. Yeah, now the, the good thing about these supplies is that you don't have to use really any of these. The wood might yeah. be the only one you need. That's you true. can paint this, you can stain it, you can use HTV, yes. you can make this completely we, your own. We thought about ironing on wood today, but I want to make it as like stress-free as possible. And Tanner, vinyl is cheaper than iron on as well. Exactly. Yeah. You know, HTV is definitely expensive. So some of our supplies we're using today is white vinyl. You're going to need um, quite a bit, not too much so don't freak out but definitely quite a bit of vinyl for today's project it's going to be fantastic um, we will need masking paper transfer tape which I forgot to even think about so let's see I have it right here um, so next up masking paper transfer tape guys you can get a huge roll of this for like less than ten dollars so we're using just a few pennies of the the um, transfer tape this is masking paper transfer tape it's linked down below we love it um we're using i have the 12 by 24 mat 
I think we'll use it today. So, but if you don't have one, you could do this on a regular 12 by 12 mat. You probably already have that. Um, your piece of wood, like we were joking about earlier, there's a wood shortage. So try to find some good hookups for your wood. Yeah, we had this and we had it laying around, which is the only reason why we are using it today. Yes, so. yes. But let me tell you, if you want this exact piece, you can get them cut pretty much to this size or already pre-cut at Home Depot. So this is, I think like a four foot piece. Yeah, this is a four foot piece right here that would keep you well in budget for today's project. Yeah, also make this double sided. Do both sides, yes, make it for different please. holidays, make it say different definitely, things. Definitely, definitely get your definitely. money's worth. You wanna make sure you do that. Um, today we're using Minmax stain. Again, this is like we're using pennies worth of stain today. So feel free to use something you already have. Um, and I'm gonna give you guys some staining tips because we're actually going to stain today with paper towel. You don't have to have anything fancy. You can use an old t-shirt, an old washcloth, anything like that you can use to stain and it's super awesome. So we'll run through staining a little bit and then what we've done to elevate it was we used a little bit extra um, right here to give a little accent. So you can accent this and like we said, when you flip it, you would just take this off and you would replace it with something else if you wanted to flip. So we absolutely love it and it's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. But guys, we have not been here for quite some time, so let me know what you guys are up to. Rachel, how many friends do we have hanging out with us today? We have 225 Yay! friends. Oh my gosh, we're doing a welcome sign, Nikki. I cannot wait to share with you the font we're using. So my friends, at Makers Gonna Learn, you get hundreds of fonts to customize and personalize. And what I love about that is that what we're gonna share with you today is how you can take one font and then really like turn it into a whole other one just with the power of contouring. So we really, really love using that and doing that and it's so much fun. Uh, Megan says, I save mismatched socks in a plastic bag for staining. Such a great idea. I never thought about the sock idea, especially the thicker ones, you know what I'm saying? So that's awesome. What was the white thing? This is a big roll of vinyl. Yeah, you can shop our 143 vinyl mm -hmm. down below. We also yep. have links to the masking paper transfer tape. Yep, this is the StarCraft permanent adhesive vinyl. We love StarCraft. It's great vinyl, as you can see. We just bulk buy it. I don't know what you guys like to do, but this is what we do here. Especially black and white tanner. We yeah, use black you, and white all the definitely, time. You definitely, you definitely, definitely want to make sure that you're getting um, your neutrals, like making sure the neutrals are kind of bulk bought. Black, white, in HDV and vinyl, maybe even a tan or two, like a gray. Those would be really great as well. So yay, I love it. How thick is the wood? Um, let me measure. I think it's an inch thick. So again, it's not terrible at all to be able to do. Yes, it's an inch thick wood. So right here. So Robin says, can you do this on raw barn wood? So Robin, notice how beautiful and flat and like, like really smooth. This is a finished piece of wood. Rachel, do you want to go to this overhead camera yeah. and we can kind of look at our wood and then we'll, we'll do some uh, staining as well. Does this look good? Perfect. Um, so what you're going to be able to do here is you want to make sure the wood is smooth. So if you can sand your barn wood and really even it out, that is fantastic. Um, so that's what you want. So if your barn wood can be smoothed, maybe um, sand it out a little bit just so it's smooth because you can only apply vinyl two ways. You can either use uh, permanent um, vinyl here like we're going to do today or heat transfer vinyl. But what is required is both of those must be able to make sure that you're able to um, go on a smooth surface. You can't use iron on wood if it's not a smooth surface and you can't get your vinyl to stick if it has nothing to really stick to. No, and we're all about like, like project that. successes. We don't want to set you guys up for failure in any way. Right. Um, so those are great tips that Tanner just gave yeah. for sure. So this is fantastic. Now guys, today we're staining with um, Minwax Espresso. I am believing that's what we used here. I just grabbed one because we're going to just give you some walkthrough. This could be Jacko Bean, um, but we're just going to walk you guys through kind of staining a little here and then we're just gonna work through it. It's, we're gonna use the back, but I kind of walk, wanna walk you guys through staining. So in case you're brand new to staining, this is amazing. We love it here at Makers Gonna Learn. And the main, re main reason why is guys, you get the wood. Like, let me just 
before we go into it. Like you still see the wood paint. If we were to paint this, you would no longer have this beautiful look and texture and feel to the wood, unfortunately. So when you're able to, you know, stain, Again, you know, we have some friends using leftover uh, socks that they can't find homes for. I always grab old t-shirts. Paper towel is an amazing one because what's going to happen is we just dip it in here a little bit and watch. You always want to work with the grain. So I would not go this way because that's against grain. But as you go with the grain, you see it kind of just seeps in really nicely. So you can work it in. If there's any imperfections on the wood, a piece of paper towel or any cloth, you're going to really be able to work into. Now, if I'm not in a hurry, I kind of take a lot of stain and just kind of spread it out and then worry about evening it, evening it out later. But if you are in a hurry and you just want to get like one good coat on, make sure it's worked through, let it dry for 10, 15 minutes, um, maybe up to 20. It really depends on how fast your stain can draw in like your environment. Um, so it's very much based on area. Um, but yeah, the more that you stain right here, you'll see, you can still see the wood. So is there anyone out there that's like, Tanner, I'm scared of staining, let me know. Because we have so many courses in the year membership that you kind of get, you know, Rachel talks about it as we give 10 courses completely free. So if you use that Memorial Day code today, you're getting 10 courses instant access to where you're gonna be able to kind of become a well-rounded crafter in all kinds of areas. Felt crafting, sewing, staining, painting, like we kind of go over that in a lot of different projects over there. So let us know if you're kind of intimidated by any of this because we kind of walk you guys through even more if you're a member. So if you're a yearly member, guys, just grab um, your membership and take advantage of it. And for all those of you wondering, you don't have to use the exact same top thickness or width of no, our wood. No, Just no, no, use no. what you have on hand is what no. I would say. Um, it doesn't have to be this thick, Please doesn't have to be this that. wide. Um, mm -hmm. Also, it also doesn't matter how big ours is, make sure you size yours correctly. Yeah, because 100%. as you guys know, we love putting our dimensions in design space to make sure we have the oh, most we're accurate about to talk designs. About that. Yeah, so when you take our sizes, just make sure that your wood is the exact same size. Yes, 100% echo that. And then look guys, as you stain, you can kind of take another piece of paper towel and go through and kind of just wipe it off. We're going to let this stand up and draw while we're in Cricut Design Space, and then we'll just use this back side. So, ta-da! Look at the beautifulness of this one. I love it. I'm going to sit this right here. And then now, that's how easy it is to stain. Did we have any staining questions that we need to address or anything like that? Because there's a couple people that said easy. they've never stained. Tanner, yes. how long would you recommend letting the stain dry before applying vinyl to it? That's what I want to talk about because you really need to make sure that it's completely dry. How you can know is if I was to touch my wet stain right now, that would mean it's sticky. Like once it's completely dry, you're not gonna have any doubt that it's wet, if you know what I'm saying. Like it's gonna be dry completely, it's not gonna be damp. It's gonna Especially be if you do dry. it with HTV, I'm gonna say the longer the better you let it dry. Yeah, I wanna make sure that you guys let it dry. So like overnight would be an amazing ideal situation. Sometimes we gotta, you know, craft on the go. We gotta get some things going. I totally understand that. But just make sure, heat it with a heat tool, heat it with a hair dryer. Make sure that you're really getting that heat there so that you're not worrying about all of the, you know, worries of that. Because if you use a heat tool, you can go really fast. But I don't want you to suffer from a craft fail because you're trying to skimp out and go really, really fast. So um, our board right here is about five or six inches um, by four feet. And then the thickness of the wood is exactly one inch. So that is fantastic and we are loving it. So yay, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. So yay, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yes, espresso is our stain that we used, guys. Espresso's like, if you know us here at Makers Gonna Learn, we were, I was on a Jacko Bean kick for like a year and a half. Well, they're very similar. They're very, but this one I think like, Jacko Bean's darker. Yeah, it's 100%. almost like it's, it's like dark. it's as close to black 
like as you would want to get on home with decor. being able to see like a little wood grain yeah. espresso gives you a little bit more room and then early america early american, american i think thank yeah. you mm -hmm. yeah I was, I was like which one is it that one's like our light 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 stain so like those are the two different things we use a ton of and i think in my opinion both of those work extremely well together like if you wouldn't if you just had those two stains you're pretty set now one thing i wish minwax would have and rachel can kind of share her thoughts too is they don't have a great gray they but don't we have to go to other brands to get a good a decent gray yeah. which and also you have to know everybody out there whenever you buy stain different types of wood will take the stain completely differently yes, so completely you really don't different. know unless you mm -hmm. try it with your wood mm -hmm. But we do 100%. love Minwax. The ones that we have tried are pretty good. But I'm with Tanner. They need yeah. a better gray. We would love, 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 love to have a really great gray um, stain because if you have a dark brown, light brown, and a gray, that's like pretty much everything. And a white wash. You need we a white wash. We love a white wash, yes. guys. Like we probably, I don't know the last time that like I would have painted something like this because once you start staining, it looks so much more store bought looks so much more professional and guys that's what we're all about here at makers gonna learn is we want you to be able to use this machine use your cricut machine to really create store-bought items at home your own designs your own personality and so much more so that's what we're all about here at makers gonna learn and it's awesome oh i got a minwax gray stain surely if you got one that's awesome i just haven't seen them in my stores so maybe um maybe you have it maybe yeah. they maybe they heard us rachel and no, you know maybe they did maybe they, they're already yeah. here they they just knew yes. and just again miss shirley they look different on all different types of wood yes. mm -hmm. some it'll saturate way better so you just try it out yes and then what's your favorite whitewash it's another brand. I think it's the Rustoleum brand of stain. I know we use the Minwax pickling, name. the white pickling. White pickling so good. The that packaging good. looks different. It does. For whitewash, mm -hmm. packaging looks different, but it's still very much stain. And the whitewash, like we've used that for Christmas projects. We've used that for fall projects. You need that. And Heather says, y'all are making me feel more confident that I can stain my projects. Usually my husband does it for me. Heather, no, no, no. Here's the deal. Staining is therapeutic. It's, it's like so weeding. much fun. It is fun. And I definitely love staining. I Tanner stain. didn't even have gloves and look, he barely got oh, people, anything people on People were talking ever. about like, where's my gloves at? Y'all. He's a professional. Y'all, we're, we were careful. Like, I mean, are my hands a little sticky? Maybe, but <laughs> but like, it's okay. Like, this is gonna be such a great project. You're going to love it, and you're gonna want to start staining even more. And guys, it's about to be summertime. It is summertime here. They're commenting on your beautiful tan as thank well. Thank you, yes. thank you. I was in Florida last week. I really- Tanner Courtney, both are like beautiful golden Trying people. to work on my tan. I'm so excited, um, so it's awesome. But guys, now that we've got this right here, um, Jill says, how long should I let the paint cure before applying vinyl? So when you're using paint, you also want to follow kind of the same policy. Like make sure it's like completely yeah. dry. Longer the There's, better, honestly. Yeah. Paint would be harder than the uh, stain. And the reason why is you could really just rip up that paint a lot easier. That's one thing I love about the stain is it kind of gets absorbed a little bit better than paint. So masking paper transfer tape for this project is like not only for budget reasons but a lot of other things so yeah you can use almost any wood it is so fun and are you using the new Cricut 3 we do not have a Cricut 3 but we will definitely be ordering one we're so excited um, to get them and try them out and see what we think on the maker and the explorer so okay y'all let's head to Cricut design space because I've got a lot to share with you on this project so right here I want to share with you that we're using a a uh, brand new, brand new, brand new font called Rancher. And I love this. I don't think I've ever showcased it on a live stream. So that's awesome. Um, and it's very whimsical, very fun. And if you look right here, you may say, Tanner, this looks like two completely different fonts. And my friends, it's not. This, these are the same exact fonts and they're awesome. So this right here is on the left side what your font is going to on average look like. So this is without doing any work, just welcome. Right here, no edits or anything like and that. And it's cute. It's totally adorable. cute. If this is the style you're going for, love it. Yeah, um, adorable, very whimsical, very fun. 
But my friend, if you want to make sure that you, you know, love the, the styling, but you're like, I don't want all of this, let me share with you what you can do. So I'm just going to grab these letters right here. And I'm gonna duplicate it real quick um, and then take these over here. Whoops, undo. So I'm going to just take, I'm just gonna take one so you can see it. So I'm gonna duplicate it and then we're just gonna move it over. Ta-da! And I'm gonna make this big and large for you to follow along. So now, after you write out your word, anything like that, it can be one letter, or I would recommend doing all the letters together, very easy. You're going to want to take this, and actually we may need a second letter for this too. Didn't even think about it. Um, we're going to duplicate. I think the rule is two, is like two or more. Yeah, so what we're going to rule. do, mm -hmm, and you'll always need multiple letters. I was just trying to make it easy for today's purpose. But look at this, my friends, look at this. So we're gonna take two of these. These are these are fonts. Yeah, this, so like is, we can this is a hack, this. guys. Get your, get your yeah, paper if you, ready. Okay, my friends, if you're looking at any other screens, like just come back to me, click on your YouTube tab. We're here live together today um, you're gonna want to see this so you can take any font you can select both layers again this is technically text box right we're about to convert it by selecting two or more letters and we are going to select weld and once you weld it it's now permanently together you'd have to slice it to undo these you can't just ungroup or anything like that so after you got it welded look what button you have now. You no longer have weld, attach, anything like that, but you do have contour. So select contour right here, and look at this, my friends. You can go through, and all you do on contour is just click. Look at this, click, 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 and click. So look at this, after you close out, you can see the W looks so different. And guys, this is a great hack for those types of fonts that you might wanna cut smaller or something like that. Little, small, intricate cuts you really wanna be careful about with your maker. So if you can delete those and contour those out and make the cut yeah. simpler, we definitely do that. 100%. And then guys, just to see it again, you just click on contour and once you do, you select it, click contour, and again, just very, very simple to click on these letters um, or little spaces. And just like that, how about it? Oops, and you see I took away this little E to bring it back. You're just gonna click on it and bring that back. So super easy. Ta-da! So cute. It's Great like two hack. totally different fonts. Super easy, super different, super fun. And they're really easy. Um, so it's that simple to kind of take it and work with it. Now, what I absolutely love is that as you guys can see, oh, Carrie says, oh, that's what contour does. See guys, the friends that didn't focus in on that little training, they're like, what are they talking about? Guys, you had to be here for it. Yeah, had to be here. So what we did was we measured our board. So the board was actually uh, almost eight inches, so 7.3 by 48 inches, so super simple. Um, and then what you're gonna be able to do is you're going to be able to create that um, on your mat. So I consider the canvas kind of like my my reference guide, right? My, my little reference guide. So I can put my width in here, 7.3, and then my height that's 48 inches. And then look, so this is now way larger than a mat. So a lot of people see when I do this, they're like, Tanner, whoa, why are you doing this? Um, this is crazy. It's not gonna fit on a mat. My friends, we're gonna we're go get to that and you're never gonna actually use this square except as a reference here in Design Space. So we love that. And guys, if you wanna know what this amazing font is, it is linked down Ooh, below yes. in the description. If you're not already a member, today's the start of our Memorial Day yes. sale. So grab that. All members get access mm -hmm, to these incredible mm -hmm, fonts. Mm -hmm. Yes, we love that, that you can become a yearly member today, get um, one of our best deals of the year, 
and you're going to be locked in for a whole entire year. And there's new releases every single month. You can go once you're signed in. Oh, Tara, there's Denver. releases almost every week. Yeah. I mean, Absolutely. you're getting all kinds of things. I wanted to show, share with you guys. The first Thursday of every month, you're getting your monthly craft challenge. Second Thursday of the month, we actually listen to your request and we add them to the library. So on the second Thursday, we release those. On the third Thursday, we have an amazing curated collection. And then on the fourth Thursday, we have brand new fonts. So over 20 new fonts every single month to you keep guys you guys will, creative. We'll never run out of For things to sure. do or inspiration. We're always coming at you with fun challenges. Yes. So then after you, you know, created that square, you just top out your letters and decide, do I want to contour each letter or not? Either way, I mean, both of these look really great. I don't know which way I want to go, Rachel. Should we do a little more weeding and cutting? Should we do a more simpler? I feel like, and I'll just say it because I know someone's thinking it, the left side might be a little too circusy. You know, it's very ranch style, cowgirl kind of yeah. form. It's got a lot going on. Oh, is it? I guess it's called rancher, but for some reason, I feel like this is like we could use this font well, super and we whimsical. could create our own circus. I totally, totally like, do you get feel, that. Do you feel I do. Me? I feel that. Like, I, I feel really that. feel that. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I do like the one on the right just because it's a little bit simpler. And if you're talking about wanting people to see this driving by your house, you do want these That's to be true. as big and bold as possible. They could be driving by fast and see the staying through it and they'd be like what's going, by on? Fast. what's going on and miss shirley says what is the price for membership and where can i find it so it's linked down below in the comments everything like that let me share with you um that right here because we have it so this right here is our memorial day flash sale um you need to use the coupon code flash 30 at checkout you're going to be able to put that coupon code in and you're going to get it and look guys we have some amazing memorial day cut falls you do not want to miss out on oh so ever so time is ticking you get thousands of cut files with new collections each month again new fonts you get unlimited downloads unlimited downloads. Tanner, yes. please help our amazing friend out. She says, is this good for beginners and not super techie yes. people? Yes. Oh my gosh. Let's go to the main camera real quick because I want to share with you guys. When you become a year member, you get access to the 30 day cricket challenge, which is 30 videos, a video a day, and you get access to the PDF version of this workbook. So you're actually able to master your machine. We kind of set you guys up with that foundation right here to build on your Cricut journey. And the best part is you get this as a year member perk. So that's included. We also have our Cricut printable guide. So even after you master the basics of your machine, this right here, I don't call it this. Other people call this their Cricut Bible because they can flip through and say, hey, here's what I need to use for my temperature charts and things like that. Here's what um, mat I need to use, things like that. This is amazing. You get all these PDFs. You can print them out and take full advantage. So it's super simple. Let me share with you how easy it is because you're like, Tanner, I want to get this deal. Let me share with you how easy it is to say, you know, hey, I want this deal. I want to save $30. It's one of the best deals they have all year long. Click right here and it is so much fun. So all you need to do now is utilize the coupon code FLASH30 and we already have it applied and you're going to save $30 at checkout. So you're not going to have to worry about your membership for a full 365. You're going to get all the releases, all access to our entire um, library of cut files and fonts. It is so much fun and we absolutely love it. I know Taylor already mentioned it, but I have to reiterate, this is super close to the best deal of the year. Yeah, it's Which very to me is, is crazy. You guys are basically stealing this thing. So yeah. if you want it for this deal, definitely grab it because this is a lot off of your membership. Yes, this is an amazing deal that you guys get and it looks like you are going to, you know, get a ton of different things. As soon as you become a member, you can go to your dashboard and we are revamping quite a bit of the site to make it even more functional but you get you know access to your Facebook group your craft challenge we have a tour we have the library you can access your courses a big thing you guys may not um, know of if you're brand new is that your member only videos member only videos are so much fun 
Um, so that's awesome. You get to see previous collections, recent posts. I mean, guys, we give you all kinds of greatness. And again, I want to share, if you are a year member, you actually get the commercial use license. So the commercial use license, you're going to be able to make a ton and actually make money with it. So you can grab the year membership and actually make your money back. We've had people make their money back in like the first three weeks. So it's so much fun. I wanna read a few comments. Heather says, there's so many classes to take for Makers Gonna Learn. I learned so much and I continue to learn from them. Thanks, Heather. Kathy says, I'm a member and the 30 days of Cricut course was amazing. It has helped me so much. Now, always a Chevy Silverado girl, very direct, I love that name, um, says, how do you compare with Creative Fabrica? Um, we really focus in on sharing with you guys education, um, training, fonts, and cut files. It's very different than almost any other membership out there, like uh, Cricut Access, uh, Design Bundles, cr uh, Creative Fabrica, any of those that you're just getting a lot of assets to and like cut files and things like that. This is why we're different. It's because we're crafters that develop cut files. Other Our main motivation is to teach you yes, how to craft, honestly. The biggest thing, the biggest difference, um, it's how I like to divide it out, is that a lot of people design cut files for cricketers, but they don't craft. We're crafters who design cut files. So that's a really big uh, mindset shift on what kind of cut files we want to make and things like that. So yeah, We like to create well-rounded and confident crafters, not just give you files and fonts. Exactly. So we're really a one-stop shop here. We love it. Now, guys, today's project, we are replacing the O for a little added flair. Are we doing that? Is we're that doing, doing it. Yes. So since we contoured it, all we've got to do now is we just need to uh, contour it again and take out the O. So look at this, y'all. We're just going to take that out. Bye, O. So now we need to take that out, that little piece. So click on it again, and you are going to love that. So now we have that space to put our little pot. And then what I want to do is come down here and right here look what i'm about to do make sure you're not selecting the bottom of the l or the um top of the c and then look we're going to select all this because it was already welded together mind you we just need to slice so now that we've sliced we have this layer and we do not need these right here so delete that and then when you zoom out you're going to see you have this and you have this so this is still 26 inches, and the most we have on our mat is 24. So it looks like we're going to have to change this up a little, which I'm glad to work through what to do when this happens. Well, also I have to note why I love that Tanner did the W, E, L in the same one, and then the C Ooh, in the Tanner mm -hmm. tone, because I noticed that's a yeah. really good tip. This is a really good tip. I love this because we want this already spaced out. You don't want to have to guess to on this. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to have something to follow. But my friends, I think we're going to have to kind of risk it for the biscuit because this is 26 inches long. I would throw the E off, honestly. You know what? We could do Before that. Before I would do the C and the O, yeah. that's so perfectly sized. Yeah, we could actually do that. And it, I think it will actually make sense. That would make Risk it for the sense. biscuit. Yeah, like you guys know, we're, we're doing it right around here. And just like we teach all we're the time. We're repeating the same process. There are so many ways to do things in design space. It doesn't matter how you reach that finish line as long as you get there. So do it however you Yay. guys want to do it. Okay, so we have the W-E-L together. That's how long is that, 19 Matt? inches. Okay, okay. And then we have our C and our M and then our little E. So let's click make it. And I kind of want to see what Cricut's going to do. So it has it on three separate mats, mm -hmm. which is fine because we're going to eliminate this mat. We're not using this mat. We can pop him somewhere else. I feel it in our bones. And I just forgot, Rachel, do you ever do a live? And you're like, wait, everyone knows everything about design space. It happens all to me the all time. the time. My friends, let me walk you guys through a little back pocket, like secret weapon, right? So right here is our E. Well, if we back up even more, sometimes Cricut will put stuff on mats that we as people think is kind of crazy. Yeah. It's because they're trying to 
in their own way eliminate the amount of material you have to use yes. but sometimes it just doesn't make sometimes, sense sometimes i mean an algorithm and software uh -huh, just uh -huh. cannot give you guys the best yes. thing so you get to manual they give you the option to manually do it which is awesome so i want to see my hypothesis is that i want to see if this e could actually fit on maybe um the second map or something like that or the first map i'm gonna try the first map first so you go to that map where you have an image and you click on it and there's three dots so you click the three dots and then all you want to do is go down and click move object rachel is risk it for the biscuit something people say only in the south uh you know i would have to say so because wow. It seems very Southern. It does, doesn't it? So look guys, look at this. I just saved so much material. So guys, look at this. So my new theory is that I can move oh, this. Yeah. Now, you're, now you're risking it. I'm, I don't think you can. I think I can. Okay. Hypothetically, okay. I should be able to. You think? Y'all, look up, uh, mm, hmm, no, no, up, uh, mm, no. Tanner, that is cutting it close. Wait, 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 wait. Wonder where I could put this. Now hear me out. Tanner. I have an idea. We only, you know, this is a budget friendly project. Oh my gosh. This is a, this, I, actually y'all, I don't think it is gonna work. You, no. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move this one back to map two. I got a little, you know, you know what, Tanner? proud of myself. Now we tried so that they don't have to. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So. Yay, now I can move this letter back up. And then we're gonna just go have two mats, which I kinda like having two mats, and here's why. Cause I can weed while the other one's cutting, and it's amazing. So, woohoo! Now we've got our two mats. How awesome is that? We're doing a basic cut, nothing crazy. We're connecting to our Cricut Maker via USB, and now I'm just going to open up and get this vinyl ready. Now let me know if I have any brand new lurkers that have not commented yet today, because as you guys know, I love, love, love to give shout outs when we have new friends hanging out with us on the YouTube channel. It's one of my favorite, favorite things um, to be able to welcome you guys here. And it is super, super awesome. So yay. Okay. Breaking out the big mat today. Yeah, we got our big mat here. If you guys don't have one of these mats, like Tanner said, you can totally break it down and do a 12 by 12. Easy. However, you do not need to fear these big mats. Don't no, be scared don't of the be mats. Don't be scared of anything we're doing today, my friends, because it is not hard whatsoever. Nope. Okay? Not hard whatsoever. We're doing it together. And we're actually going to be able to reuse this extra vinyl too. So no fear whatsoever. Okay. And then we are going to, oh my gosh, my friends are here. I love it. I love when people admit that they're a lurker. Tanner, we have 305 so friends with us. 305 yeah. friends? Yeah. Guys, the chat box has not been near as chatty today. No. Is everyone working? Be honest. I, okay, I love the people that comment and they I say, do. I should be working when I'm listening to this. It really cracks me up. We oh won't tell gosh. if you won't. Yeah, we won't tell. We highly support. I think we could also debate that the lives make people happier. Oh, 100%. So this makes Maybe it'll make them better. more productive after. That's what I'm thinking. So they'll just make up that That's time at work. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I, I fully support that. Um, so it says we're already connected, but like... Oh, you'll try. have to turn the cricket off and back on. Mm, She's okay. finicky. I love that. Okay, so my first YouTube live. Shout out to Courtney. First YouTube live. Woohoo! Courtney Hello. Becky's late but made it. Woohoo! Sandy, I'm a new lurker. Allison says, hey, MGL team. I'm a total lurker. Got my cricket a few months ago to make my bridesmaid gifts. That's awesome. <gasps> love it. I love that you bought it with like one purpose in mind yes. because you probably completely fell in love with it. She probably already it. made her money back. Probably. From just the bridesmaid gifts. Probably. They're, those are expensive. That is amazing. Uh, mastering my multitasking skills. I love it. Love Guys, that. give me an emoji if you're already a yearly member. I want to see yes, all of them because there is 310 know. people here. And I want to see if all 310 of you are yearly members if not you should be by the end of this yeah oh my gosh you, you are missing out if you are not already a yearly member because you're going to miss out on all the goodness guys like as soon as you're a member a yearly member you're getting access to all our fonts all our cut falls and everything so definitely 
throw up the emoji for Rachel. Let's see yes, let's who see is here. You're also just in time to start the amazing June Craft Challenge, which Ooh. is awesome. We have a private Facebook group where yes. we chat and give you all special live streams. It's just a great place to hang out. Look at all these emojis. I love it. I love hey it. guys, the real MVP. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Sarah, Shirley, Carol, Gracie, Jill, Loretta. Hi guys. Okay, guys, look what happened. The cricket what, what? is it on top of <gasps> like it's on on top of me. Like, look, it. We were cutting. Look. Rachel and Becca were filming a great video right before this. Tanner, look at this. Open this up. Wait. I didn't know. No, you can keep going. You can keep going. I didn't know it detected the fine point blade. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck it never... yeah. Look at that. That's what this is. Or maybe, is no, here. no, no way. I bet it doesn't detect the fine point blade, but it detects that it's it an adaptive it tool, yeah. so it knows it's not the fine point blade. Yeah. Okay, see, guys, we're, okay, so we're talking about it. My, this is very, okay. I think it's going now. Perfect. So we're going to try this again, and I love it. Oh, oh my gosh. You guys are so amazing. So much fun. New member, but not sure if Yearly. Janice. Janice. Yearly is honestly, you save the most money, and you get the most. Rachel, can I have the main camera yes, while we're can. cutting? Yes, So my friends, we do have a monthly membership tier. We don't talk about it as much because over 70% of our members are already yearly. So our monthly membership is $19.99 a month. Times that over a year, you're spending... 200 and right at $40. Our year membership today, you save $30, which is incredible savings. So you're gonna pay today $161.88. So $161.88 for an overall savings of getting access to everything on our site from the cut falls, the fonts, the commercial license, year member only perk, and so many other year member, member perks like those 10 courses. And you save the money. Guys, you save seventy-eight dollars being we a yearly member that. rather than being a monthly member over the course of a year. Yes, it's a no-brainer. I what dropped you, something. What have you thrown? I dropped What's something. Happened? It is. It is crazy. Um, now, let me know. Also, I've seen a lot of people saying like I've missed some of the lives, things like that. What do you guys think? Do you wish there was more lives, less recorded content? This is a great place to let us know what you all are thinking, just so that we know um, as we are planning for summer projects and doing all kinds of fun things for you. We would love your feedback since we have so many great members here. And if you're on the fence, Janice, I know she was here. I'm kind of intrigued. What has kept you on the fence from going yearly? So let us Great know. Question. She's already a member. So maybe um, yeah. if we have some people here that's like, Tanner, I've never invested in membership before, go ahead and let us know what your um, hesitations are, what you have questions about. There's very few times that you get a amazing you know, live stream. It's like a open Q&A. So I love that. So right here, my friends, we are cutting off that excess vinyl. Notice I'm being very careful about making sure to not touch where we've already, um, you know, put and had our final cut. So then we can peel up the excess and then whoa, love that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch to our um, weeding tool. I'm gonna use this bone folder Ooh, to kind of burnish, just like so, very easy. And then we're going to use our weeding tool and we're just going to start weeding this project. So apologies, white vinyl on um, the white table. Oh, we're totally seeing you. This is good and clear. Yay! Okay. So then look at this. We're using this weeding tool right here. So I'm going to round all the edges. So fun. And since it's larger letters, look at how easy it is. Like, you can just kind of pull it and then look at that. So this is your ball. Now, if you guys have been an OG friend of the show, you get um, some really great videos from the past where I have left a piece of vinyl and I've unraveled this and got it out. So you kind of keep this close to you just in case you need it. That's Tanner's superpower. I have, it's been con confirmed. Yes. Like all of us have special superpowers. Yes. Tanner's is being able to wad up vinyl in a, wall, <laughs> in a ball and throwing it away and Ooh. then finding like a dot to an eye that's an eighth of an inch. Yeah, it's some, there's been some that are like literally crazy, crazy. And I'm like, I am only doing this because I'm alive. Like yeah. it, it would be more work 
to find it oh, and then yeah. just recut it. But 100%. it's kind of part of the it's part of the fun, honestly. Like, 100%. Not to let you guys down. So you pull that off. Notice here the secret. Notice how this part, I wanted this to roll up on purpose. I pulled too fast and did not keep my hand close to it. So the tension of pulling it off a fresh mat really rolled this up. So that's really frustrating since we don't need that. I can just cut it off. But notice how this part that we slowly peeled up looks beautiful. So if you're brand new, I saw we had quite a bit of lurkers here today. I love that. Shout out to you guys. Um, you want to flip it over and then you want to pull this and just hold it back and go with gravity. Ta -da! How amazing. So we have our first few letters. We have our E for the bottom. We're going to take this, sit it to the side for now. And we're going to need just a little bit more white vinyl. So yay. Almost two years now as a member worth every penny, 100%. Everyone should be a member. Guys, if you have a die cutting machine, Cricut, Silhouette, Brothers Cannon Cut, whatever, you definitely need a membership. As long as your cut, your machine works with digital cut files, you need a membership. That's how I, you know, pretty much define like who needs a membership and who does not. If you have a Cricut ex um, like expression, you do not need the membership because you can only use cartridges. cartridges. But if you have a machine with digital cut files, you can master this project. That's any machine, really. Yeah. All of the current ones in the past few years. Brenda says, okay, that's it. I'm signing up right after this live and going for yearly. Woohoo! Go, Brenda. You're going to love the savings. It is fantastic. I cannot wait to see you in the membership community. Guys, you want to get in today so you're able to join in. And in the Facebook group, I cannot wait to welcome you. I'm currently locked out of my Facebook after being... Um, oh, the drama. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I got hacked, everyone, so apologies they are working very hopefully soon to fix it but yeah. jean says i'm a yearly member and love it my first time commenting oh thank you thank you thank you miss jean you all are such inspirations Woohoo! and for all those of you i think we did have one person who wasn't sure if they were a yearly member or not yeah. um i will post our amazing uh contact page please let us let us know reach out yes. to customer service and we'll make sure that you have that best value membership to yes we will make sure you get that today Aw, I love it. I've truly saved so much money in gifts I confidently made instead of purchasing. Woohoo! That is awesome. Aw, Carol says, what Tanner and Rachel aren't saying is the support, education, and kindness you'll find. Y'all, we are like... Carol! Yeah, that's so sweet. I do have to say, Carol's right. Carol, you're right. Um, we might be biased, but yeah, Carol's we might be biased, <laughs> But that is why we're here. You know, my friends, we want to give you a community like no other on the internet. When you invest in yourself, you're finding other people that believe in the value of education and you're investing in, you know, not only your future, but you're able to serve others and see, you know, it's kind of like life support or not life support. It's like craft support. It so is. It you is. really get, you know, everything you need. And something right that there. I don't think a lot of people talk about is unless you knew about it from someone in your community and that's how you got started with cricket it can feel lonely yeah i mean honestly I believe it. guys when i'm out in public and i tell people what i do people ask me what i do number one it's so complicated to tell yeah. them what i do but when i tell them i teach people how to use their cricket machines they just look at me and they're like what because it can feel lonely because there's not a lot of people out there that do yes. it so when you can find a family like makers and learn mm -hmm. who not only just say here's cut files and fonts but who educate you and ask you know answer your questions and try and push you out of your comfort zone to make you better crafters it, it it's priceless honestly yeah. i love this community the reason why you know i'm so passionate is because i was once um in 2010 someone that got a cricket for the first time from hsn opens it and then i had no idea what to do next that was the crazy part y'all i had no idea and piecemealing it together, trying to watch YouTube video after YouTube video is not always going to be your best bet. No. Sometimes you need to invest in yourself to get the education to master your machine. Yeah. Now my friends, you might see like, Tanner, there's a crease here. There's a bubble here. Y'all, totally fine because we're gonna rock this transfer. So I'm just gonna get all three of our mats ready to go, just like so. Again, we're following the same principles I, were teach I was teaching earlier. Love that. 
And now we're just going to continue getting our um, bottle ready. So here's our E. I'm going to manually position that because this is so large. Like we, we're we good. I'm going to test it. And then here's our WEL. So we're going to take that. And notice that this is a little bit, I think it's the same size. The W might be a little bit wider. No big deal. That's fine. You don't have to cover every inch. Especially it's, something this large. True, true, true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tiffany says, can I still get a deal if I upgrade from six months to a year? Tiffany, yes. This coupon code is for you as well. I love it. Again, just reach out to that customer, customer care service. Team. I, we'll uh, make sure that you're getting the best. Yeah. <gasps> Allison wants to know how me and Rachie met. Oh, oh my gosh. Tanner. So, it's been years, y'all. I've known Tanner since what, Tanner? I would say like 2008, 2010. Yeah. yeah. No, probably 2010. Well, I've known you through Joe for a really, really long time. Me and Joe became good friends in about 2010. Yeah. That was like when me and him had... Yeah. My cousin Joseph, you all know Joe, he yes. and Tanner went to school together. So I would see Tanner at festivities, at, yeah, at, Joseph's festivities at Joseph's. And Tanner was, as always, the life mm -hmm. of the party. And um, I got to know him through that. And then in 2015, yes. I got a call from my aunt, Joe's mom, that uh, Tanner needed some help at work. And I was yeah. like, wait, Tanner? Now, back then, yeah. work looked a ton different. Oh, gosh, guys. Looked there was no different. makers going to learn. No makers going to learn. No. And then so um, crazy. I started working for Tanner in 2015. Yeah. yeah. It's been crazy. It's We've all grew and shifted and obviously got to meet all of you which is crazy oh it's amazing um and it's awesome so we love that yes. so that's, that's kind of how we met rachel has been probably done a little bit of everything i think so jack like of all better. trades a little bit like, yeah yeah that i wouldn't trade this job for anything guys i'm so, super lucky yeah it's so much fun um but rachel let's look at let's just look at it yeah. sometimes i do this guys like sometimes oh, I, I i just want to look and just want to see like okay you know, here's what the spacing's gonna be like. And Miss Sierra, this is masking paper transfer tape. This it's is amazing. our secret weapon that's not so secret. So if you guys would like to use this masking paper transfer tape, I have linked it below for you all so you can check that out. Oh, it's awesome. You are gonna love it. And you know what, guys? I might go ahead and place my E right now. Oh, oh. So that might actually be step one. Or actually, uh, yeah. I'm going to move up the W. I'm going to do W-E-L. I'm just going to go down. It doesn't really matter, but whichever way you want to do it, it's how you should do it. So, ta yeah. Okay, so I'm going to burnish just a little bit on the back here. I don't have my burnishing tool exactly. Let me show you here. I have no idea who would have stolen it. Although it's priceless, you trying to use scissors. That really made my day. When, oh, here's one. Love it. This one's Talk about resourceful. You know, I would use what I had to <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So we got our wood here. And now we're going to be able to peel this back. Look at how great and fast it all comes up after you burnish. Like, guys, the way that our videos look and, like, you're like, whoa, this has never happened for me. Guys, just follow exactly how we teach it. And that way, you are going to be able to have the same success. Yes. Because there's nothing practice. special or practice secret. Practice makes perfect. Yes. yes. This is years. You're seeing years and years of cricketing under our belt. So that's what we love. So I'm going to give about a half an inch from the top because I want a half an inch from the bottom too. So we're going to position that right there. And the W is pretty wide, so it kind of helps us like have a little bit here and a little bit there. Oh, that's true. So that's yeah. really great. Because if you look down here, because the transfer tape, it's like, whoa, is this vertical? Yeah. That was me placing. You cannot trust the transfer tape. No, do not yeah. trust your transfer tape. Trust your gut. Trust your step. Yes, trust yes. your gut. Tanner, good. Yes. I think as new cricketers, too, I did this constantly, too. You overthink. Mm -hmm. You way overthink. Mm -hmm. Now, Tanner, how long has it been since you have broke out the tr the uh, measuring tape and measured HTV before you adhered on a shirt because oh, it's been a hot minute yeah, for me. Yeah, Once you get to a point and you've done like 30 shirts, your confidence is there. You don't feel the need to second guess yourself. So you just sure. go for it. So for definitely sure, just sure. practice makes perfect when you're a yeah, beginner. That is so, so true. And then like guys, burnishing really does change the game. Always change the game here. 
What is everyone saying in the comments? How is everyone doing? Everybody's doing great. Aubrey says, you guys inspire me to motivate, or you guys inspire and motivate me to craft. I love that, Aubrey. You guys Get are to so craft in. So now you want to kind of look at, like, okay, this is the finger, this is the finger, so we're going to put a finger here, and then we're going to position our C. Pretty, pretty close here. Okay. And then you kind of want to line it up. Now this will be a little bit trickier, because we could easily position it, you know, incorrectly. Do you have enough room for your E oh. down there? Before we officially lay it down, I'm gonna grab it and check it out. And yes, so oh, this shows so me neat. I need to move this down just a hair more. And then you can look at it. Notice I'm not applying pressure. I'm just kind of letting the M get centered here. And it's kind of floating, hypothetically. And looks really good. So this is gonna give some decent spacing up here um, and then decent spacing down here. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go for it, Rach. I kinda just wanna go for it. Go with your gut, Tana. <sighs> this is nerve wracking. Okay, pulling my E out. Pulling my E out. Love your videos. You guys have saved me so much time and Yay. wasted product. That is honestly, guys. Yes. If the, the second goal of ours, aside from teaching you how to use your Cricut and making you guys confident, is helping save you guys money. Um, honestly. And, and what that really looks like putting it to practice is using what you have. You yeah. don't always have to buy a burnishing tool. Yeah. Use a recycled gift card. Or using I things that out, you haven't ever thought of. Rachel, I'd pull out my credit card and just use it to burnish yeah, if I need yeah. to. Like, it's no big deal. Yeah, there's a, an amazing video coming out in June here on the YouTube channel and it's all about cricket hacks that cost you nothing just free free amazing cricket hacks that you can that. just find around your home so I can't wait to so for to share example that with you guys. say you don't have transfer tape like who is super scared of this right now me this is scary like if you don't have transfer tape this right here is definitely scary because this could stick to you it's sticking to me right now but i want to walk with you guys on how to do this real quick just because i truly think you guys will love it so again we know we need to be up from the top a little we need to be you know right about here i'm gonna line it up with my other e tanner just breaking down these fears yeah we're one together one letter without transfer tape at a time so we're gonna position it right here and how I did this was I lined it up, took it in my finger, and I'm like, oh, I need to move it over something. So we're going to move it over just a hair. Okay, so we got that right here. And then you're like, whoa, what is happening to this letter? Well, the cool part about vinyl here is watch. You take one finger, and it knows where to go. It kind of has a memory. Look at that. It laid itself down. This middle piece already laid itself down. Look at that, guys. It was super scary. We're going to repeat this to our other part as well. And Miranda, that is literally my, I've done it so many times and it's still a fear of mine. What she is says, it? have you ever accidentally spelled something wrong? A hundred All the time. Sin. All the time. And guys, I am learning um, how to edit videos better. And I'm also Ooh. adding a lot of more, a lot more commentary to the videos and uh, little pop-ups and things. Guys, I check my spelling on the most basic words because you Me never too. know what's going to be spelled uh, incorrectly. I'm not a good speller anyways. Courtney, I, oh. Courtney's really, really good about telling people, or excuse me, not telling people, asking Siri to spell words for her. 100%. She'll be like, yes. how do you spell principle? Or Becca like, is my Siri from like seven to three. I'll just shout <laughs> a word that. and Becca will spell it for me. Yeah, that's awesome. It's great. <laughs> so this is what we're adding, guys, to give it the extra oomph. This is awesome, and when you look at it, if you can see it top down, it looks adorable. Rachel, why are you laughing? Because you said extra. Oh, like look at this! Like this looks like like we've literally it's so cute. went over. Guys, I applied the E with no transfer, transfer tape. tape, and it looked challenging. But what you all may not know is the vinyl kind of just knows where to go. So I love it. So okay, so now I'm going to take the flowers out. Get this, you know, it's position. Yeah, in my heart, you can put different flowers in there. You need to make sure the pot is where yeah. it needs to be first. So definitely. 100%. Definitely so do that. we'll use like a middle, medium size nail. And then we're going to kind of take that right here. And I'm going to poke a hole just like that. And then I'm going to pull it up. So I have my nail right where I want it, literally right where I want it. So then we're going to take this and we're just going to hammer it. And again, it only needs a little bit. Like, this is sturdy. I'm going to give it a little bit. Ta-da! And then look at this, my friends. 
Popped it on. I'm dying right now. Popping it in. I am dying. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I want to look at it too. Oh damn. I do. God, I could look die. at this. It's so look. cute. So this thing is going to stay on there. Like, look, it's not going nowhere. It's not going nowhere. It's not going anywhere. Huh. No. I really was. I was really risking it. And you're just going to set it on your porch, so it's yeah. not like you're going to be thrown in the back of your truck. No, 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 no. You're, you're good. Be gentle. Um, you can. I think this was found at Hobby Lobby. It was. You can use this yes. forever. Um, Guys, change out the flowers for the different seasons. These yeah. are just silk flowers. Of you can also do the back too. This is where this is our stain yes. that we were testing, and like it's almost dry with no heat. If I gave that a like, quick quick little heat it would be killing it so look at this guys that this is, is what so you cute. can do when you become a member you're going to get the step-by-step -step help to master some amazing projects if you love this project and you're like tanner i want to see more projects like this and so much more guys check out our member only resource area brand new videos to coordinate with every collection and every single month you can see all kinds of fun member only projects so look at this this piece was from Home Depot. This piece of wood was from Home Depot, stained by us here at the team um, with our Minwax stain. I uh, got to share with you guys how to use Rancher, the font. It's so cute. So adorable. It's four feet tall, so nothing too tall, nothing too heavy. Very thin wood, so hopefully it's not super, super expensive, but definitely economical. And you guys are going to love being able to do that. So thickness is one inch. Um, it's about an eight by 48 inch piece. And it's super, super fun. And for the moment of everyone that's been waiting for, I will address, I have facial hair. I gave up shaving a few weeks ago and it's actually been very funny to okay, see also, people who, that give comments. I am pro beard. I'm Rachel's probably, been wanting me to have a beard, so like this is thank your you, gift. Thank you, Tanner. I have been wanting you to grow a beard for years. For like years. Just looking at Tanner, knowing Tanner, I knew he would look fantastic. I mean, thank Tanner, you, you're super thank handsome you. every other wow, day of the week. Wow, wow, thank you. But you would just look awesome. I can't wait. I'm living for Tanner. Wait, to this isn't going out. any longer. Why not? No, it's like I'm, weird. Looking. Tanner, I'm I'm living for it. Please no, go. No, 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 just no, no, no. This is like this is no. You're it's not like done. So like my yeah. Oh, I'm I'm done. Are we gonna have to put it to a vote? Is that what you want to do? No. Who wants to see? No. Tanner so here's Rose? the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. If you guys have been a long, long term follower of the show, one year I dyed my hair blonde. Oh no! It wasn't one year. It, it, it was, was two years in a row. It there was two years. Yeah. It was two years. And the main reason why I do it is because I really in am intrigued with like people giving their opinions and mm -hmm. like you have to build some type of intolerance to it. Mm -hmm. Now y'all that support it, that's great, but I'm really hoping people don't like it. Don't like your beard? Yeah, my you wife. Know what? I hate it. All of a sudden, Tanner, mm, I don't like Stop that beard. It. Stop it. Stop it. My wife hates it, so that's the only one that I really you have to care about. So, um, Tanner is sin, me sin up. is in support of no growing the beard. So look at that. I just look love how it's just different. Everything I would, is no, 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 I would keep it like a little bit, a little bit less. I don't like the pieces sticking out. The Guys, pieces if, sticking out. I know the most of you are women, so you don't know what this is like, no, but I'll tell don't. you a little bit. So growing your facial hair, gets really itchy. I guess like your legs as well. Um, maybe. Um, so there's like five days that's just awful. And then there's like this phase where it's like, it literally doesn't even affect you anymore. Cause I'm living for Tanner talking about growing Rachel, I've honest. never, I've not spoke about this for years. I well, and here's the thing too, guys. It's like walking on eggshells. Whenever Tanner shows up with just a little bit of stubble, it's like, don't say a word. <laughs> just don't say anything. But then we talked about it. Me and Tanner had a heart to heart the other day. Rachel morning. made it and a heart to heart. <laughs> And Tanner mentioned that he was going to grow it out just a little bit. And I'm telling you, no, I've just Rachel, been this living is, this for is as it. good as it gets. I, I think about it almost every day. I'm like, I wonder if Tanner's still growing his beard out. I asked Courtney today, and Courtney hates, hates it. it. Hates, hates it, it y'all. But as long hates as I've known it. Tanner, I knew he would look awesome with a beard. Wow. Well, this is pretty uh -huh. much for Rachel. Yes. So it's not for Thank no one else. Thank you, Tanner. Is this, so. is this my, my uh, late birthday present? Yes. Yes, 100%. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, no. Oh, so then it's like sticky, like sticking out now. And it's like, no. So I did, so this is funny. So you know my friend Taylor? Yes. So yes. I had, I wanted to shave for this graduation speech. But I, if y'all think I'm dark now, I was really dark Saturday. I just got back from the beach oh, on no, Friday. I never thought about that. I know where you're going. So Saturday morning, I just gotta be real with y'all. I had to give a 10 minute speech. I did not prep 
one bit of it. I woke up at 6.45 Saturday morning, <laughs> went to the, I came here to the office, sat for three hours, wrote my speech. It was great. Um, but then I thought, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go home, shower, shave. I was like, wait, can I do that? <gasps> Cause you're tan. No, no yeah. tan. So it you been, would be pale it under been, there. Yeah, yeah. So I say all that to say I had to trim it. Oh, so, so I had it was to longer than up. this? No, no, no. Trimming it is like, uh, well, I guess I had to clean it, clean up. it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean so it I had to up. like do a neckline. My friend Taylor, who's had facial hair mm -hmm. for years, mm -hmm. apparently never cleans it up. Clean. He never knew how to clean it up. Wow. And like I just Googled it. So wow. he, he was very intrigued. So you were so. just learning. Are I you was, gonna Are you gonna continue with this, or is oh, it no, gonna go Courtney, bye bye? No, no, no. Courtney's like literally. Well, but you're so tan. How? Where? Where? When are you gonna do it? The lines in the sand. <laughs> the lines in the sand. I don't. I don't know. Guys, the way this video is weird is just getting replayed. It's How so many people funny. are still here? Uh, three hundred six. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, y'all. I don't think anyone's is, left. They've all. Well, they've I all still, been here. I still think we need to do our podcast. Well, yes. Like we we have a lot of things to talk about. The podcast Would is going to be just for the people who want to hear nothing but an hour of Tanner and his beard. No, is that not what it is? No, we oh. could talk about a lot of different things. That when also... Tanner and I came up with like two single space pages of incredible yeah. ideas for this podcast. <laughs> There's a lot of different things we need to just you know carve out the time. Mm -hmm. We could do it live and give a few you know every now and again people's feedback because you want to make it good for the people that watch live and also really good for the people that watch recorded. So mm. it's like a it's nice and nice and interesting. Mm -hmm. Keep I it agree. interesting because it, it is interesting because like you know we're here to make crafts and like really teach you guys like this video. I uh, love so cute. Like we mastered a lot today. Like, I just want anyone that's like brand new, like you mastered a lot. So if you're overwhelmed, no big deal because you have this recording forever. It's so awesome. And today's the first day of our Memorial Day sale. Yeah. So if you enjoyed getting to learn more about Tanner and his facial hair, then you really will enjoy that membership, guys. You will actually love it. To you make will. great crafts. Because we're, we're great people. This is a really fun community it. to be yes, in, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Shirley says, DXF and ESEPS, what are the files used for? Nothing related to Cricut. So don't worry about those. PNG, Yay. SVG. Yeah, that's PNG, what you want to stick SVG. with. JPEG, you can do, but PNG, SVG is what you'll get and Maker's going to learn. It's fantastic. We love it. And I really want to encourage you guys that if you're on the fence about membership, we're about to head out today. So go ahead and drop your comments, your questions, anything like that. Let us know what you're on the fence about. You're getting one of the best deals of the year with this flash sale. There's limited time to take action on this. You can go from monthly to yearly. You can go straight to yearly today and get unlimited access. You're gonna make money with your machine. You're gonna get 10 courses completely free. Our commercial license, like I spoke about. Um, you're also getting our thousands of cut falls instant downloads as soon as you join it's incredible so yay love it love it and you guys do not have to seal this unless you just want to yes so you do not have to seal this this is permanent vinyl guys it'll be totally it's gonna fine. be great it's gonna be fantastic and yes please make this project again one last look this makes the project and it's so much fun we talked about setting it up in design space and so tanner gave that more. insane hack about removing little pieces of fonts you might not like yeah. so definitely take that would write it for down sure. say that one for later uh, brenda says can i pay with paypal yes you can use your favorite credit card debit card paypal whatever you prefer our system is super super secure um r davis says more wood projects please we would love to do that for we you love working friend. with wood so. i think that's mine and one of mine and tanner's favorite things 100 is wood. yeah yeah <gasps> guys last but not least oh, i don't have it wait do i have it can what you, are you looking for is my iPad in here? I don't know. My There's iPad? this one, but it's not yours. No. Where did I do with it? I don't think you brought it in here. I did, because you were still doing your outro. I carried it in here. Why I'll in the world to, would you have said I'll it? Have to, I think it might be when me and Becca were prepping the project. Oh. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys a picture of a wood project that we built. Courtney and I built our shutters on our house. Yes. So one Saturday, Courtney and I built two of them, and then she and one of our other team members went through and built all of them but they were so much fun to test out and we got um, a new saw going for the project and it was a lot of fun so i'll have to post pictures soon i'll be doing a lake tour soon i'm going to we've got to give our thoughts on the new machine lake um, house tour lake house tour you said lake sure. tour that would be a boring video Sorry. here's the lake <laughs> that'd be funny a lake house tour we're gonna to give our thoughts on the new cricket oh guys the lake house is gorgeous you just it's buckle so much up fun. and then tanner did you do one 
of it empty or demoed. Did they get a demo? I don't know. You really need to splice that in. Splice yeah, some of your videos yeah. in there. Because We're, I'll give a, we'll make a recorded video yes. of a tour, but we'll also do a live maybe after the recorded video. Because let me tell you guys, you won't even come close to mm -hmm. like loving it as much unless you see it before. Just the transformation is amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So you have videos that aren't shared publicly. Guys, yes, we have projects, we have videos. Let me share with you one last time. Special member only out. content. Yeah, yeah. let absolutely. me share with you where to find it because you may be a member and you may say, Tanner, I'm a member, what are you talking about? Let me walk you guys through it right here at the membership. Now, first of all, click the deal, click the link down below, grab the membership, use coupon code FLASH30 at checkout and you're going to be able to celebrate all weekend long. Use the coupon code FLASH30 at checkout. So, all right, once you're a member, this is your website. The website totally flips when you become a member. It looks totally different from non-member to member view. So you can go down here and you can click on collections and all of these collections have supporting member only projects. Rachel, which one should we look at? Should oh, we look at Patriotic? So, yeah, Since, I, I mean, mean yeah. Memorial Day is awesome. coming. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So right here, you can see all of these projects. <gasps> I have to highlight this one because Rachel made it and it's amazing. Y'all, how to print on fabric. Guys, it's amazing. You have and there's to be nothing a member. Special. There's nothing special. You have your printer. Mm -hmm. you, what I'm saying is you don't have to like mm -hmm. buy a ton of stuff for it's this. It's awesome. Mind blowing, guys. It is amazing. So you, you have get, to do it. You get that video. You get so many other ones that you get, you know, as soon as you become a year member. Look at these adorable ones. Um, these are awesome little uh, party favors. They're amazing. You're going to also get, you know, some other fun things. This is the tips for decorating a tiered tray. Guys, Becca's styling is everything. And I know a lot of you want more tips and tricks on decorating a tiered tray. So please, if you're not a member, take advantage of these beautiful cut files, beautiful member only videos, and so much more. I cannot wait for you guys to get excited and join us in the membership community. I cannot wait to see you guys all join, introduce yourself when you get into the Facebook group. Our customer service team works from eight to four um, every single day on Eastern Standard Time. Thanks guys so much for enjoying this awesome project with us. So Rachel, cute. are there any other Questions. It looks like they're so super happy. We still have like right at 300 people. Amazing. So many amazing loyal, friends. Thank you so much for loyal, being loyal. here. And yes, I do on Instagram have a whole lake house like in a renovation. Um, so feel free to go look at that. It's my personal Instagram, Tanner Bell 1023. Um, and yay. Can I sell it with polyacrylic? Totally fine. And Miss Sue, your workbooks have been shipped. So they if they're not already to you, they should be there very soon. Any so, day now. Yay, yes. I love that. I hope you guys have a fantastic Wednesday. We'll be back here real soon and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.